I hope you're having a lovely day. One of the biggest challenges that I faced after my mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's was to find a non-medical, non-technical, accessible yet satisfactory uh, definition of what Alzheimer's is and what happens in the brains of someone who suffers from this disease. The standard definition is that Alzheimer's is a neurodegenerative disease, a progressive neurodegenerative disease, which uh, results from the abnormal accumulation of a protein, a sticky protein called the beta amyloid, which creates this deposits, these plaques, which destroy synapses and result in the death of the neurons. And uh, relatively recently, uh, scientists also discovered there is another protein, the protein which creates these uh, entanglements that contribute to uh, neuronal death and brain atrophy. This definition for me is not uh, satisfactory because it does not explain what this sticky protein is, what is the role of the beta amyloid and why is it accumulating in an abnormal manner in uh, the brain and this opens uh, the discussion about the root causes of the disease. It was only when I started reading the wonderful books of Dr. Dale Bradson. I will be speaking a lot about him on my channel because Dr. Bradson is um, a visionary, a pioneer doctor in the treatment of Alzheimer's. He's among those very few functional medicine doctors that manage not only to slow down cognitive decline, but to reverse neurodegeneration in Alzheimer's patients with an integrative protocol called uh, the RECODE uh, protocol. And thanks, uh, to the book of Dr. Bradson, The End of Alzheimer's, I now have what I call an accessible and satisfactory definition or explanation as to what happens in the brains of someone who suffers from Alzheimer's. And I'm, I would like to share this uh, definition with you, or at least my adaptation of the definition. And I'm going to use plasticine. I know this may uh, seem a bit silly. It is the first time I'm doing it. So please bear with me. Beta amyloid is a fragment that comes from a bigger protein, which is called APP. And APP comes from amyloid precursor protein. So let's imagine for a second that this is the uh, APP. The thing is that APP is a dependence receptor protein. And dependence receptor proteins uh, need to be attached to another protein in order to determine whether uh, the nerve cell is going to survive or is going to commit suicide. The APP can be attached to a trophic support protein like Netrin-1. Trophic support means a protein that promotes the growth of the axon and um, it, it grows and repairs the synapses and it ensures that the nerve cell is going to survive. So this is what we want. This is anti-Alzheimer's. We want the APP to be attached to uh, a trophic support protein like Netrin-1. So let's imagine that this is Netrin-1, yes? So the APP is attached to trophic support and then what happens is that it is cleaved in two pieces. And this is the anti-Alzheimer's process. This is the process that ensures uh, the survival of the, of the neurons. However, there is another scenario possible. When there is beta amyloid floating around in the brain, there is a chance for the APP to be attached to another beta amyloid protein. Let's imagine that this is the beta amyloid. When this happens, so when the APP is attached to a beta amyloid, bad things happen. So this, this is a bad scenario. Uh, the APP will be cleaved into four pieces instead of two. Yeah, so I'm holding four pieces of the, of the APP in my hands. The problem is that one of these pieces is going to be the beta amyloid. So more beta amyloid is released into the brain. And now the billion dollar question is, why is there so much beta amyloid in the brain? And here Dr. Bradson has this uh, very accessible explanation and very easy to understand and to follow. The beta amyloid is involved in a very normal, normal process which happens in the brain. It is part of the brain's anti-inflammatory response. The brain, when it is faced with an external attack, when it is faced with neuroinflammation, it has two options to use its resources, the nutrients, hormones, so trophic support to fight off these external threats. Or if it doesn't have the required uh, resources, it sends out the beta amyloid as a downsizing agent. And a downsizing agent is basically uh, borrowed for an expression borrowed from the corporate world, because what the beta amyloid is doing, it is shutting down resources. It is 
instructing the neurons to commit suicide because the brain does not have enough resources to fight off the external threat. It does not have enough resources to respond to inflammation. So this is a normal process. Unfortunately, in Alzheimer's, this process is no longer normal because there is a lot of beta amyloid released because there is a continuous chronic form of, uh, of neuroinflammation. And what happens is that the beta amyloid as the so-called downsizing agent is sent, is sent out to shut down, let's say, the subsidiaries which are non-vital. And for the brain, resources like short-term memory, reading, speaking, writing, these are considered non-vital as opposed to breathing, breathing, uh, eating, uh, walking, which are vital. In Alzheimer's, uh, unfortunately, uh, the brain starts with the non-vital resources, but then it, uh, the vital resources are uh, compromised because there is an ongoing uh, state of neuroinflammation. And in the future videos, I would like to address those uh, causes of neuroinflammation because those causes are the root causes of Alzheimer's. And understanding them, identifying them in each patient is the way to provide an integrative protocol, a treatment that not only slows down cognitive decline, but reverses cognitive decline. This is what uh, we want. And this is exactly what the current Alzheimer's drugs uh, do not manage to achieve. This is what I wanted to share with you today, uh, my simplified explanation of what Alzheimer's is and the role of the beta amyloid protein. I hope it was clear and I hope you uh, enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next videos, guys. And if you like this video, please uh, click um, like and subscribe. Have a fabulous day, everyone. Bye. Hugs. <laughs>